Kia made its popular Sorento a little cooler looking for 2014, but its best attributes remain its functionality and unique size. Basically slots in between compact SUVs like the Honda CRV and mid-size ones like the Ford Edge. There are two engine choices. The 191 horsepower four cylinder is pretty pokey, and its fuel economy of 22 miles per gallon combined is lower than the Honda CRV in other compacts. That's just as efficient as more powerful midsize SUVs, not to mention the Sorento's own optional 290 horsepower V6. So, the moral of the story get the bigger engine. This is a Kia, so even the base $24,000 LX model comes with a lot of standard equipment, including satellite radio and Bluetooth. Plus, you can load up even that base model with higher end options. With a lot of its competitors, it's an all or nothing situation. Now, this SX is pushing $40,000, which frankly seems a little outrageous. Now, it does essentially have the features of an SUV that costs $50,000, but there's a lot of hard plastics, and for roughly the same price, you'd have a bigger SUV with almost as much stuff. Regardless of cost, though, the Sorento is easy to use. The touchscreen, it's big, the buttons on it are also big, and the menu structure makes sense. The driving position is nice and high, the seats are supportive, plus they can be heated and cooled. The back seat is similar, it's mounted high, lots of nice under thigh support, plus you can slide it forward to bring kids and child seats a little closer to you. The optional third row seat, well, it's for kids only. It's also a little difficult to get into and kind of claustrophobic regardless of how big you are. Now if you're going to be carrying around teens or adults, you're going to want a bigger SUV. The government gave it four out of five stars for overall crash protection, while the Insurance Institute named it a top safety pick. Kia's come a long way in a short period of time, but it's still tended to lag behind in terms of ride and steering. But I think they're starting to figure it out, because this revised chassis for 2014 doesn't crash over bumps like it used to. And the three setting steering in the SX strikes a good balance between effort and response at least in sport mode. Now this loaded Sorento SX could line up with mid-sizers like the Ford Edge, but we think it's more likely that people are going to consider this a larger alternative to compacts like the Honda CR-V and Chevy Equinox, along with a similarly sized Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Either way, it's a good choice. Now for more information on the Kia Sorento, as well as all of those rivals, go to Edmunds.com.